Okay. Ken, Dave, y'all there? Yes. Dave. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, okay, guys, look. I'm sitting here in my house and I'm documenting this and I can't just acknowledge you're here real quick. I'm here. Dave, the yeah. wave. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I just got to do this, guys. It's so insane. Kat, earlier today, I'm just going to say this super quick. I went into HEB, a grocery store, and when I was checking out, the the clerk may just very bizarrely said, hey, they're bringing back the DeLoreans. And uh, it was just very strange. And I told you, it reminded me of the guy when I was in jail, the guy named Argentine the Third. Is that true? Yes. So it was just a very bizarre grocery store experience. And the way the guy said Houston was just, it, it reminded me of the guy, Argentine the third, um, that told me I had to go to that place called This Is It, you know, right after I'd gotten saved. And I had called you and I was discussing it, how bizarre it was. Is that true? Yes, it is. Okay, well, now I just want to document what just happened. This is so crazy. I don't even know how to document it. I went back to the same grocery store and I saw the guy and I was actually trying to avoid him. I just didn't feel like the small talk and it was just awkward the first time. So I knew the second time it was going to be even more awkward. So anyway, so I, I, I told Kat, yeah, I just, I didn't want to engage him. I felt like there was just this spiritual weird thing going on. And so I ended up having to go to the bathroom before I left the grocery store and I walked in. And uh, by a bizarre set of circumstances, he was right next to me in the in the guy's bathroom. And he looks over at me and I'm like, oh, wow, how's it going? Yeah, I looked up that DeLorean thing. It looks like that was in 2020. And then he says to me, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Houston, which is really weird because I'm going to Houston this weekend. And so I called Kat and we were talking about what a bizarre encounter it was. And there how bizarre it was again that I was having to deal with him again in the bathroom. Yes. The so so the circumstances were just really weird, really whacked out. I was just like, this is very awkward, very uncomfortable. And so then I I left the grocery store and cat, I was on the phone with you and I was like, this is so weird. It's like I've I've gotta look at this DeLorean article that you looked up. Is that right? Yes. Okay, and then out of nowhere, while I'm on the phone with Kat on the highway, I'm like, this is so weird. I, 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 I have to pull off the road and I have to go to Michael's while I'm doing this. Is that true? I said that. Yes. And so it was really awkward, right? I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get off the highway and go do this at Michael's for some reason. So that's all 100% true, right, Kat? Yes. Okay. So Dave and I and have been working on the delivery of this stuff that I got to deliver to you guys. And I'm just overloaded. I'm overwhelmed. There's so much, just, there's so much confirmation that here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, that I am just literally like, ah, <laughs> freak out. And I'm like, it's, I'm, I'm okay with it coming, but I feel like it's like, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And it's just, it's overwhelming me. So the whole thing from the grocery store, was really bizarre, but then to pull over at Michael's, I just said, something's going on. Is that sound about right, Kat? Yes. Okay, hang on. Okay, Kat, in less than 30 seconds, just give your quick, you know, what happened, so yeah. Yeah, she saw the guy at the teller at, uh, not the teller, but cashier at, um. Yeah, ATB, yeah. Yeah. And he mentioned uh, the DeLorean coming back, and he he mentioned Houston. And he, but he was acting real bizarre, like it's coming yeah. back. And I was like, wow, this is weird. It's like something else is speaking through this guy. It's not like he's really telling me about a DeLorean. It's kind of like he's telling me something else is coming back. And that's what I was conveying to you, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, so here you go. So anyway, so I've been working with Dave all day to, to get this stuff ready for you guys to deliver. Nothing to do with the DeLorean. Nothing to do with the DeLorean. It's all about this other stuff. Pulp Fiction and how the Lord showed me the end is here. His vengeance is here. The time of his vengeance is now. Dave, is that what we've been working on all day? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, it's a lot of it. Yeah, it's the Pulp Fiction stuff and... 
I was working all morning, even before I got together with you, but it, my whole day has been, it's all about that here's the day of the Lord's vengeance is coming. And uh, he used Pulp Fiction as a way to convey the message to me. Does that sound about right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, that being said, Dave and I just wrapped up basically getting my desktop ready to try and deliver this crazy crazy just unbelievable testimony and then i go to the grocery store and there's the same guy that mentioned the delorean thing which was super awkward super weird and then i'm with the guy in the bathroom and it's super awkward super weird and then it puts me back on the delorean thing with cat on the phone while i'm driving home and next thing you know i'm pulling over to michael's and i'm looking at the video on the delorean that cat had sent to me and then all of a sudden it's just confirmation after confirmation after confirmation that here comes the insect invasion. Does that sound right, Kat? Perfect, yes. Okay, so I know I may seem really animated and kind of spazzed out, which is, yeah, try doing what I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's so insane, it's like the Vatican's a snake. Oh shit, that's not good, okay. The Lord telling me that here comes this locust invasion and he keeps telling me you need to proclaim it, announce it. I mean, I'm under so much pressure. I feel like I'm about to lose my mind. It's like, okay, so here it goes, guys. I'm going to rat I'm going to stitch all these little segments together, give them to Dave right now, and I'm going to try and stay up late enough to deliver this to you guys and what happened with Cat and all this stuff today. Okay, Dave, you up for a quick stitch? <laughs> yep, I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna hang up, let's do it. Okay. Okay, Kat. Uh, okay, this is my last little video segment. I got Kat on the phone. And Kat, this has just been this super bizarre thing I've been running past you because it was like Argentine the third, the guy that told me, Jonathan, you need to go to This Is It. It's soul food. It's in Houston, it's all Pierce Elevated you need to go there. And that was when I went to This Is It right after I got saved. And now I have this weird vibe thing going on with this guy at the grocery store. And it has to do with the DeLorean is coming back. It's coming back. You know, the inference is like, uh, the king's coming or the enemy's coming or something's coming, but it's just overwhelming the spiritual yes. pressure that's the only way to ex describe it it's like this spiritual pressure anyway so and cat you've been a witness to this absolutely yes <laughs> and i'm just trying not to lose my mind <laughs> it's like ah, okay i get it 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 okay so i'm gonna try and work on it i had i i got a hold of some flowers and i have turned them into every flower arrangement I could possibly make in a vase behind me. So that'll be a that'll be a nice backdrop for you guys. It smells awesome around here. By the way, everybody that sent me birthday, thank you guys. God bless you. And just I love you. Thank you so much for thinking of me. All right, so let's stitch this together.